Well, hey everybody, it is your friendly fishmonger, Dan, from dansfish.com, and today I want to show off this tank behind me, the 125 gallon kind of show tank that I have, kind of the only tank I have that is meant to look good instead of just be functional. Most of my tanks are kind of like, like that. Um, you know, they're just bare bottom, few plants floating, sponge filter, box filter, just very functional for breeding fish and, uh, and keeping fish um, but this one is meant to actually look okay and I recently got a camera that goes underwater so we're gonna take a dive into this thing in a moment and take a look while I explain the changes to you so uh, I hope you like this so here we are um, just a front view to start of the 125 gallon kind of show tank and basically what we've got going on here is we took out the sword tails and I took those out so I'd have room to consolidate a couple different tanks into here. So I had a tank of Odessa barbs that I moved into here. And I had a tank with the um, Denison barbs or Roseline barbs or Torpedo barbs, whatever you want to call them. So I cleared out those two tanks and put them in here to make some room. And I like how it looks. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, so here's what the fish kind of look like up close swimming around and we'll dive underwater in a bit here I just wanted to kind of show you from the front what we're looking at as you can see this is an old tank It's it's been scratched up a little bit. It used to be a saltwater tank uh, When a different person owned it so you know the calcium and sand and stuff scratched it a bit But let's go underwater. Let's see what this looks like underwater. So here's the new camera it's, it's a really cheap little thing. It's called a cross tour. I think it was like $39 on Amazon. So super cheap little camera with an underwater case that you can control via Wi-Fi. Um, and that's what we have. So this is what it looks like underwater. As you can see those uh, Pogostemons ocelotus octopus that I got from 54 Punchy. In fact, all of the plants in here came from her except for that Java fern or yeah, java fern way down at the end and the sword tail hiding behind the plant trough there. Um, but that stuff, I, I trim the pogo stem in all the time and it just grows like crazy. And behind that is the Ludwigia and I'm waiting for the Ludwigia to get really high. My, my hope is that it'll grow up to the very top of the aquarium. It's kind of a nice red color and then I will plant the pogo stemens ocelotus octopus all across the front of that and keep the pogo stemens uh, trimmed to about, I don't know, six inches or so above the top of the trough so it looks like a, a, like a, a hedge you would see on someone's lawn, <laughs> basically. And so the nice green kind of hedge and then the red of the Ludwigia growing up behind it. I think that'll be kind of beautiful. So what we have in here besides those Odessa barbs, which I think are just so beautiful, and the um, torpedo barbs or Denison barbs or Roseline barbs, or they have so many names, are a few things. So we've got these angelfish. This gold one in frame is named Goldie. I ordered a whole bunch of platinum angels and Goldie came in as a contaminant. <laughs> so just this lone kind of veil tail long finish kind of gold angel fish. Um, her fins are so delicate. As you can see there's a, a split in her anal fin there. Every now and then she'll get one of those. She'll scrape it on the log back there or get in a tussle with somebody and then it'll just heal up pretty quickly. So it's nothing to really worry about. But um, So I've got some platinum angel fish in here and Goldie. And these are the Platinums that have not paired off yet. Every other Platinum has paired off and been sold. Um, but these are the ones that are left. On the bottom there in the back, you can kind of see some skunk Corridors. I think they're Arcuatus um, down on the sand there. Um, it's, it's hard to see. This is a six foot long tank and it's only 18 inches from the front to the back. So our view is really long and thin <laughs> with this underwater camera kind of up on the side. Um, I've also got three true Siamese algae eaters in here that I got from Fish Guru, uh, Thomas at Fish Guru. And I love them. They keep the algae on this under control. As you can see, there's a little bit on the front glass, but you only see it because we're looking at it on the long view. From the front, you can hardly tell that it's there. So once a week or so be before the live stream is my excuse to scrub the algae off the front of the tank. <laughs> um, but that's really all I do. I just scrub the algae off the front and I don't touch anything else as far as algae goes. So those 
true Siamese algae eaters do a great job keeping the algae off the plants and things like that. Um, what else is in here? There's a random uh, Hypsoebius killifish in here that I just had, you know, an extra male, so I put him in here, but he's usually in the plant, so he's not out right now. And I think that's it. Um, oh, the Parkinson's uh, rainbow fish, so Melanotania parkinsoni. They're one of my favorite rainbow fish. They, when they're fired up nice, they kind of look like flames in the water, these irregular bright yellow and orange patches on them. And they just, they just, a group of them swimming around looks like these little flames swimming around as those irregular patches kind of uh, take your focus. So the tank is filtered with an old Fluval FX5. Uh, that has been replaced since with the FX6. I don't think you can get an FX5 anymore, but I have that. And then to the, in the back on each corner, immediately to your right here, and then on the far corner behind the log, are some it's a reef ready so they're they're overflow baffles and on the one to our right here I just fill that full of polyfiber polyfill you know that polyester pillow batting basically and or filter floss sometimes if you want to buy it at a pet store and pay five times as much it's called filter floss if you go to Walmart it's called polyfill for a lot cheaper but um, and that kind of helps drain or filter out a lot of the particulates and things before the water gets to the FX5 so that makes it so that I hardly ever have to clean the FX5 because it's all getting pre-filtered out which is really nice because cleaning a canister filter I don't think it's the worst thing in the world some people absolutely hate it but it ain't it ain't much fun <laughs> um, these guys eat everything I feed them flakes and rotate in pellets and uh, crisps and rapashi frozen food live food just about everything so they're kind of spoiled but um, yeah this is I think this is kind of a cool view I'm not sure I'm really liking necessarily the quality of the camera I mean things look a little funny don't they just a little off uh, <laughs> underwater here but but then again we're looking at it underwater and for 39 bucks or whatever this cross tour camera I'm kind of glad I can get underwater footage for you know 40 bucks it's it's kind of exciting. So anyway, that's the update on the tank. All right, there you go. Underwater in the 125 gallon show tank or show-ish tank. There's a lot of people that make a lot better looking planted aquariums than this one is so far, but, but I like it. Anyway, thanks for coming by. If you have a comment or a question, please post it down below and we'll get a fish geek out session going. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.